This could be bad for them. I mean, grouping up is smart because you're stronger. But now with the initiation from Lodestone Bearing, here it goes. He's channeling that Shatterstorm. He's going to get a chance. It's going to connect on Wild Soul only uh, because of the back off by Pebbles. But they do eventually melt him. A huge ultimate coming out from Engineer. It's going to trap the entire Hellborn team. They can't do anything in that energy field. And they are completely getting genocided. The last man standing is Painting here, but he can't pick an auto attack target. Dr. Pulsar's going to get away, and now he's going to bite the dust. That's a genocide. This is why Sink is one of the top teams in the game. They completely flip it around and the momentum can shift just like that. Unbelievable sync. Chase is on Madness, though he's lining up an eruption. He gets it on the couple right here. Down kills Grenix. Gets the one kill at least, but here comes a Shrek and a Warbeast now. He's looking for a target, not having the easiest of times. Pebbles, he comes over the combo. I think he might have got an illusion there, actually, as down goes Aluna. Mage Man's still well alive, Throttle. There's Warbeast in the background. He's having some trouble, actually. They're kiting him pretty well. And now he's going to be locked down, actually. No more Shrek and Head on him. He did kill Glacius, but it's going to come at a cost. He goes down. Token going to bring him back up. But Pebbles goes down. So all of a sudden, it's by himself. Can Probus do this? I don't think so. No Shrek and Head. It's not going to work. He goes down a genocide for Sync Esports, actually. Okay, Midas is going to get picked up by Puppet Master. Not much you can do about it. Oh. And is. Puppet? Elemental Void is a question to go for this kill. He, no, he's not going to. Puppet Master still might die, though. Oh my gosh, barely any life. Yes, so it will be enough. The Elemental are. Void also coming in. He catches three, but is the follow up here. Magnus tuts in. Tep is going to survive. Andromeda goes down. Helberger's dead. Lord South Forest dead. It's a cleanup with the eruption of Midas cleaning it up. Indeed, the genocide in favor of Sing. I don't know oh, what that idea was, this. but yeah, Rakna is going to. is being sent home. Uh, no. Oh, barely lives in time. Arachna oh, getting blocked, there. actually, with a Fissure. Oh, it man. does go down, and Parasite also is going to fall. What a block by Zibbe there. If you have the replay there, Zlap killed the Skeleton King as it was being infested by Parasite. That was insane. That was so well played. Yep, you're right. Yeah, he was... The infest animation even went off. He actually went to it. That was just so well played. They're probably going to have to commit to a fight here. They do not want to give this Rax away. Yeah, it's another hook attempt from Matthias. So he's trying right here, keeping them on their toes. But there's an ultimate from Warbeast. The son of the Moonquin. Moonquin in trouble now. Protective Melody saving him from the Storm Screen immediately. And Moonquin's feeling it. But a nice kind of eruption coming out. Bubbles joins the party as well. He lands Cuphead in the midst of it. Ogi, though, he's full throttle. Good to go. The cooldowns are up, including that Jade Spark. Putting a lot of damage out of an AoE presence. Rhapsody is going to fall. They do take out Warbeast, though. Because the bot and Glacier is dead. Prisoner's getting low. He's going to fall. All of a sudden, it's a, only one man left here at Ogi. He's out of mana, no primal surge. He does not have the Jade Spire. There goes the token. But can they kill him again without the cooldowns? I would think so. Yeah, they're going to be able to take him out again. It's going to be a genocide for Sink Esports. What a lay Magnus. He's been in this. He's level 16 as well. They're going to jump, actually, but he popped the Shrunken. Zimmy popped the Shrunken before the shock, but then comes a counter eruption. Helping in trouble. He is going to get a Malphys off, but it doesn't really matter. He will die right there. We do see Warby's following it up, though, and now Drunken Master actually. Is has, does have to be on the run. Swiftlet and Warbeast are doing plenty of damage. Nice job of the Arcane Vortex and catches uh, Swiftlet. Yes, it did. And actually, now they're going to jump coming out of it. Look at the first. Swiftlet will fall right there. Warbeast has to run. Sink Esports is dominating these fights here. The reaction of Zebe to pop the Shrunk and as Behemoth was running in was perfect. And that started the whole turnaround there.
an awkward moment now. They get the token. They are going to chase Glacius Cut. Should don't be a free fight, kill. She's fight. got a parasite. Here goes Cthulhu Bomb with the melody. What a melody! He's in the trees right here. They can't get to him. It's going to be great damage reduction. Will it be not? Big Magnus eruption. Moon Queen in the midst of it with the Glacius bouncing around. They're going to clean them all up. The Magnus stun came out of you. Just saw the melt. The eruption. And GG well played is called Game for Sync Esports. Oh, engineer. Engineer got the energy field off, though the kicks in on top. Fire Mancer goes down, in comes the ultimate from Solstice as well. Defiler locked down in the corner for this whole time, and Defiler goes down. What a cleanup here for the Legion side. Hook, it's gonna miss right there, but are they gonna jump just try to steal? No, they're not. In fact, Pebble says get in there. Throws in Prisoner. Prisoner is gonna. Is he dead? Yeah. No, he's not dead actually. He's in the arcade vortex. Meanwhile, so slashes down in the background. It takes out Prisoner. Er, wait, what happened there? That was Hag. Hag got the token. She has a dying. She blinked in. Okay, catching up here. Prisoner does go down though. This fight will continue. Sink chasing. Nice chuck right there. The Skeleton King gets it in range to hit the net. And Swiftplay will end up falling. He does not have a buyback. Behemoth's going to be caught as well. He too will fall. And he too does not have a buyback. Sink just going all the way into the base right here. Harkon's just picked up on Doctor. Stand it. Oh, speaking of Doctor, he wanted the regen and he gets it. Oh, he's able to pop the stroke. A big counter from Mickey right there, pulling in. They get the kill on Behemoth. Lord South Forest is falling out again. And he's going to be locked down the whole time. He's done very little in these last couple of fights because of the lockdown. Now come to the side with all the overloads up. Doctor, however, flying around as he does. He has that hard cuts now and so much damage. Corrupted the disciple falls. GG well played. We're going to a game number three. Gonna be the game deciding team fight right here. Up in a lot of damage initially. Oh, Pebbles missed his initiation action, but what a protective melody again for Serenia. Stops a lot of the early damage on a puppet master. He will eventually get away with barely any life, though. As Magnus gets done in, sitting in that steam bath now. Dark, but in the meantime, she's chasing further. She's about half life, but she takes out Serenia right there. However, she will go down in response. She has to be able to buy back, though. Her final buyback is a hat trick, though, for Haxterhin. He comes up, the quad kill, the token of life. Doing wonders here, and he's going back, and he wants the Annihilation, and gets the Annihilation. Now he still may die from this, he's coming out with the Lion's Pride, it is going to be enough, yes, Puppet Master will live, and that will be the game. Here we go, down goes the range, and Melee is going to fall pretty easily here, obviously they're playing it pretty safe. Soft Force jumps back, catch Puppet Master, Sheepstick immediately comes out there, he's got dying though, simple, what matters, double Sheepstick anyways, he goes down, he has to use his final buyback right here most likely, he's not using it, they're going right for the throne! There's there. We're going to end the game right here. There's the second and final buyback, and now Complexity trying to retreat. Face on it. Uh-oh, that's not his plan. Slapped in trouble. He goes down there, and now the turn of the puppet. Is this it? Is Complexity going to tie them? Can sink hold once again? They're going to get the kill to South Force. Puppet Master still one alive, actually, while still trying to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Magnus Eruption coming in. Puppet's dropping. Will he survive this? The life still is it enough. post haste in, by the way. No, the Warlock dies. He was trying to post haste in, but the Warlock died. That was drunken after I'm pretty sure and without him they're not gonna have enough damage down goes Wildsoul and everyone else Wildsoul is gonna resurrect but he's gonna die right here most likely can he somehow escape as tanky as he is no he cannot an annihilation for Haxorin